Aloha! This is Pipeline Audio with a tutorial on getting started in Reaper. Semi-automatic drum editing. In this lesson I'm going to show how Reaper's transient operations can help quickly edit multiple drum tracks. Turning on the grid in Rib's calendar tutorial project, you can see the drums were played pretty well, but there's a couple places that could use some help. The first thing I'm going to do here is select all the drum tracks and group them together. You can either click Edit, Group, or just hit the G key on the keyboard. Now I'm going to right click on the kick drum track, choose Item Processing from the submenu, and then choose Auto Trim Split Selected Items. In this case, I don't want to clear out any silent areas. I only want to place a split before each kick drum. So I'm going to choose Split Only Before Non-Silence. Take a look at the switch box labeled Split Grouped Items at Times of Selected Item Splits. What this switch does is cause the splits to follow group logic. So any items grouped with the selected item will automatically split at the same times as the selected item. In this case, we want it on. The next thing you want to do is set the threshold very similar to how you'd set a noise gate for maximum kick drum isolation on the kick drum track. Be aware of the switch labeled Run Signal Through Track Effects for Detection. On a troublesome track, by using this switch, you can set up a very discrete key filter for the threshold to work with. Hopefully most of the time you won't need this. Next, take a look at the minimum silence length and the minimum non-silent length. Set the minimum non-silent length to at least the duration of your kick drum. For the minimum silence length, we're going to have to do a little measuring. Cancel out of the Auto Trim Split Items window. Set Reaper to read time. Zoom in on some close kick drums and measure the distance between them. Now, reopen the Auto Trim Split Selected Items menu and be sure that your minimum silence length is compatible with the time you measured. Click the Process button and watch Reaper go to work. Now you should see a split across all your group drum tracks right before every single kick hit. Zoom in, zoom out, click around, and take a look to see if everything's pretty much satisfactory. This is somewhat of a trial and error process till you get it close. If things don't turn out the way you wanted them to, try it with a different threshold setting. If it still doesn't work, your silence lengths might be wrong. Or you might have to go to an advanced setup using something like Regate before the threshold. Once you've got your splits where you want them, double click on the TCP to select all items in track. Right click on your kick drum track and choose Quantize Item Positions to Grid. Choose a compatible beat or fractions of a beat to quantize to and be sure to check the switch box named Move Grouped Items with Selected Items. Hit the process switch and watch your drum tracks move to the grid. Here's where the semi part of semi-automatic comes in. Go through and check all the crossfades. You're going to have to do a lot of them yourself. Move any errant kicks around. You're going to have to shorten or lengthen a lot of items to make these things work. And use your best judgment when you should do shortening and lengthening versus actual time stretching of an item. Once you've got the drums the way you want them, Use the Consolidate function in the File Consolidate menu. You'll end up with nice, clean, in-time drum tracks.